This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFP. My name is Paul and this is the 65th episode recorded on the 11th of December 2017. And he's back, guys. He is a dickhole, but he's also the alpha comic of Austria. It is... Hey. Hey, man. <laughs> Thanks for being back, man. No, no problem, man. Thank uh, you. Thank you for having me. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. And you since we... I've done the podcast, it's been far too recently since I saw you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's been less than 24 hours. Yeah. And we, we, we watched Commissar Rex. We did. We watched Commissar Rex. And yeah. I, I don't know if I made any defensive statement about this the last time we watched Commissar Rex. <laughs> uh, but I do want to go on record as saying this is the dumbest show I have ever <laughs> seen in my life. And that includes the Japanese shows where they've got a like jump through holes otherwise oh yeah yeah like takeshi's castle yeah, and stuff, stuff like that, that. It's, yeah it's way dumber it has that. less plot this episode is really oh, just so it's it's so thin it's so thin it could be a model at a at a paris fashion show you know that's how thin the plot is that was solid yeah thank you <laughs> but reggie's not here so i've got up the asshole level oh yeah 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 yeah. you have to you have to um adapt to the surroundings yeah. i guess and we the episode we watched is the season finale of season one of Commissar Rex. It's called Schüsse of Rex or Target Rex. And it's, man, it was, it was the, the most boring sh episode I've ever, I was bored out of my skull watching this you yeah, you, you were, normally I'm really, when we, the were, both of us watch were, something, we're were much less punny during this episode than yeah. you normally are. Yeah, I know, because there's nothing nothing to pun about, you know? It's... So can we maybe watch this episode every time I come on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> um, no, so let's let's move on, I guess. Yeah, yeah let's 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 rip the band-aid off, okay? Oh, yeah. Let's go to Plot It starts off promising. Yeah, it's uh it you know, the suspense, there's murder in the first yeah. couple of scenes. Yes, like first so scene. Somebody gets the shot in the head. The gunshot I've ever seen in my life. Well, shot in the neck is, is oh, yeah. that's maybe why his head didn't explode. Yeah, Which right. I was very angry about at the beginning, but I was like, oh, it's in the neck. Well, they covered that up. They, they, they saved a lot on special effects with this episode. Like, yeah. they ran out of budget, apparently, in the middle of the season or something like that. And they're like, oh, we can't afford some, some head wounds. You know, the special effects budget is just isn't, is, well, isn't there anymore. It might be that it was also shown on 8, like 8 p.m. on a Friday. Oh, they, they showed murder and everything. They yeah, had but bloody, like, I mean, bloody they murder have before. Head exploding out oh yeah, no, 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 that, no, no, no. Tad gory. But you know, they didn't even show the corpse later on. They didn't. No, well, they had no need to. You didn't need to examine the corpse. It got shot. <laughs> there was no. There was the, no like the coroner. The coroner what, what is the telling you. What was the murder weapon? Fucking stood <laughs> next to a smoking bullet hole. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. It's pretty obvious that yeah. what, what he died of. Yeah, that's true. But he's yeah. So. We have we have the nightclub owner who gets assassinated in the first right. couple of seconds, and then we we find ourselves in the in the in the I don't know husband double husband scenario of oh, of the marital relationship between the dog uh, and 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 Commissar Moser, which is ah oh, Jesus Christ! I have to drink, man! I have to drink. Yeah. This is this is a bad episode. This 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 episode got like. I don't know. It bored on PTSD, basically. I, mean, I wasn't bored. I was too like entertained with hating everything that was happening. It wasn't... <laughs> they they made some really stupid choices in this one. Well, initially, the first stupid choice would be, "Hey, let's put a TV on show about a special like detective and his special detective dog." Yeah, yeah, that was the first stupid choice to make the show. Well. The ratings and the and the the fact that it got this Italian spin-off show it, it, to the oh, contrary. Oh, yeah, Italian yeah. spin-off, the true yeah. height of <laughs> for an Austrian of show. Recognition. You know how, how many shows got a spin-off that went from Austria to somewhere else? <laughs> Nearly nil, you know. 
There's there's not a lot of remakes or, or spin-offs of Austrian TV shows. There's no there's no uh, Tom I, Turbo spin-off show or there's no there's no I don't know if you know Tom Turbo. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the little dorky kid who rides around on a dorky motorbike with a face. No, the, yes, yeah. yes. It's not that, not a that, motorbike. It's a bicycle. That, that it's a was, bicycle. That wasn't remade. <laughs> no, 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 no. It got a movie. It did get a movie. Yeah, I, did, I didn't go to see it, but my my roommate's called Tom Turbo. Really? So I, I was like, oh. The, yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, let's go back to this shit show. Yeah. So it. it so they, they, they capture the assassin, like, outright. Yeah. Like, five minutes into this. Well, yeah, you, you point it out, but I feel like this, the, the plot of this episode was not who did it. It was the, yeah. the How he the did it? Or, no, yeah. it was, like, he really had very little to do with it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Especially because he... His... The, the fact that they, they didn't arrest him um after after the first one is 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 baffling to me from the beginning because they already said they were on his tracks yeah you know well he might have gotten to the airport before they did yeah but then don't let him in a second time you know yeah put him on a, a list that's a point <laughs> well I, I don't know like what the what the if, visa process was like electronically back then he might not like they they, they, they should might, put him on a list, like with yeah, all but, Russians. There's a Russian murder assassin list, yeah, you know? Yeah, how fucking long that would be. You can't <laughs> check, you can't true, check true, that with especially, in especially, out of especially in Austria during the Cold War. We had a, lo- a ton of <laughs> Russians and uh, uh, Americans like yeah. just doing their shit in Austria because we were neutral then. And <laughs> just... Just mild grey, the continual colour of Austria. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it it, 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 it transforms our, our our personality as well. Yeah. Yeah, we're just we are the, the, the greys from from uh um um what was the Planet Express? Uh Futurama. Oh yeah. Yeah. We we are the greys from Futurama. Yeah. The the totally neutral guys. Yeah, that's that's you guys. <laughs> we gonna we're gonna do um um legal marriage for same-sex couples but only in 2019 you know it's well, this gray what, like, halfway thing i don't thing. know what like legislatively like changing a law like that takes it might take quite a while to no no they, they because it's from the highest court yeah. in austria they have to implement it yeah yeah like, I mean, like it's already written down everything yeah yeah but i don't know like does that not take a while to come into effect isn't there yeah that's why shit? they said 2019 so yeah. they can prepare for that yeah yeah but still though it's like they, they, they could have made it legal now and then just, well, they you know. Well, they should have made it legal however fucking many centuries yes, ago anyway. Yes, yes, like. that's fair. Like, and it, I find it really funny that Australia did it, like, exactly at the same time yeah. as we did. Like, we are apparently the same thing. But you're not. You're very different countries. Nah, are we though? Yeah, incredibly. <laughs> There'd be good comedians that have come out of Australia. <laughs> I hope nobody of your Austrian com- comedy colleagues is going to hear this. Well, it's not a funny podcast, so they'll probably all be listening. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you are slowly transforming into Reggie yeah, while I, you're here. Well, you know? this, this film put me in a really bad mood. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. It is, it is quite... Uh, it, has, it has all the makings of lazy writing, you yeah. know? Because they were like, "Ooh, we need a big finale. What's what? What are the people most invested now? Uh, the dog? Okay, let's kidnap the dog. All right, what what are they invested in? The dog being cute. Okay, let's have him do cute stuff, like escaping. Like uh, <laughs> he he's the dog is so smart at points, yeah. and then really stupid the next moment. It is insane how he flip flops. Yeah, it's pretty." pretty ridiculous how he could dig himself out of one hole but not out of another yeah exactly yeah. yeah that was at the at the end of the of the episode he he oh paul don't skip straight to the oh end sorry 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 <laughs> yeah you have to you have to know everything about this episode so the assassin they 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 capture him after a very tense uh uh, uh scene at the yeah. at the train station that was Straight out of a, a, a movie from the 60s, basically, with the dog running over the, the carts and everything. Was to that a 60s cliche? Or? The, 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 like, it's supposed to be tense, 
but the way it's shot and oh, everything, okay, yeah, yeah. it looks like it's from the 60s, you know? It's, Is it? Uh, in my opinion, at yeah. least. I mean, that. that or, or should we save that for cinematography? <laughs> you want to just skip the whole plot? No, no, no. I want to. First uh, off. Okay, yeah, please. Please. All right, yes. So. How fucking hard is it to kill a dog? I'm sorry. <laughs> I've, ne I've never done it, but I could do it. I yeah, you think you have it in you? If, if it was like a mafia operation. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why I'm in the mafia all of a sudden, but like. <laughs> oh, do, you would fit in the, into the mafia right away. You have to look for it. I and, don't think I do. Oh, you you definitely look look. You look like somebody who's very very. Uh, <laughs> Exactly. You're very unpredictable. You you have like the baby face, but with the beard, and that makes it like like the the crazy character in a in a in a mafia movie that just suddenly breaks your legs out of nowhere. I'm not sure about any of this. No. 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 I think so. All I right. feel threatened sometimes. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you nice threatened to punch do. me the last time. Yeah, so. and I can't remember why. But I'm sure you deserved it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, it was the, the pun. The one pun that I oh, did. Oh, God. Yeah, that, that really to put you over the edge. The, the pun edge. Yeah. yeah. Give me your pen. Yeah. Give me your pen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't write down anything anymore. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Let me let me let me take Every that. Every time pen. you make a pun, I'm gonna throw away something you care about. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> All right. So so the the dog gets captured with a trank tranquilizer gun. Yeah. He doesn't even try to dodge the just bullet. Just kill the cop. Yeah. Exactly. It's just why are you going through this elaborate scheme of kidnapping a dog when you can you have a to gun black, to you blackmail need the gun to blackmail to fucking tranquilize him? You are in the apartment building already. Just go and kill the fucking cop. Yeah. Don't try and blackmail him with a dog ransom. What sort of half-ass? Also, half how much intel do you have? How mafia plot is this? How you're much? You're smart enough to hire a fucking assassin from Saint Petersburg, so it won't yeah. be traceable back to you. But you're not smart enough to think, oh, let's just kill the cop. <laughs> I know loads of good Russian assassins. Fuck you. Also, that you I think fat old grey haired Austrian. Also, that that Russian that they I don't even know that the second guy was a Russian. I think he was just an Austrian assassin. Well, I think he was a which would which would make which oh, is more even dresses, more ridiculous. You mean the guy dressed as a farmer? Yeah. No, I don't. Th I don't think he necessarily had to be Russian. Oh, that was just his well, cover. Could, you think? Wasn't it like an Austrian club owner just hiring a Russian assassin? Yes. Yeah. So the Russian mafia has got nothing to do with it then. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, it's the the and that's the, a real dumb job to do internationally as well, especially. Yeah. Like, why are you outsourcing this to to that's Russia? A stupid job. Yeah. That's hire a, like, locally, guys. Like, that's that's the message here. You have here. to go through so many borders. <laughs> yeah, and and it wasn't. It it was what ninety four. You couldn't just go onto a message board and just post neat on on like. Russian cracks, oh, murder cracks list. Maybe that's why he had to get a Russian one. Then maybe that's the only number he had. Oh yeah, <laughs> it didn't. There was no Google back then. No. He couldn't just Google "need assassin locally Vienna." I'm, I'm sure you best can, rates. or at least shouldn't Google "I need an assassin Vienna postcode, my name and email address." <laughs> I'll be at the bus tomorrow at three thirty p.m. <laughs> I'm wearing the the, the obvious shirt yeah. and stuff. Obviously, look like what? Oh, come on, man! <laughs> it's a bad shirt. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a bad shirt in that way that it's a hoodie. Yeah. It's, a, right, it's a bad hoodie. <laughs> that that hoodie is to to hoodies. Yeah. What that episode of Commissar Rex is to entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. So, yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, Oh, I, feel, I feel like oh yeah so that was it then like yeah he just decided to kidnap a dog instead yeah. of kill the owner mm -hmm. uh which they did yeah and, and then uh, they blackmail him which yeah. they succeed which in which leads me into at the, the next beginning. point yes all right so the the rush the austrian dude gets blackmailed is that if you ever want to see your dog again we need to see the russian guy get released and then he like eventually tells his cop buddies who are like oh well we need to we need to get the get the dog back instead of just let the fucking dog die. We've got an international murderer yeah. <laughs> here. 
We're policemen. Yeah, you should. They're, they're priorities, guys. You know, uh, uh, all three of them deserve to lose their badges. <laughs> yes, yes, but they don't. We, because they they figure out that Moza has the great input. Oh, because they they, they he has a phone call with with the kid yeah. dog napper with the dog I, napper. I, I'm sorry. All right. If your team of police force is so dependent on the intelligence of a dog, yeah, you're not going to be able to be smart enough to find him. Yeah. <laughs> if also, you can't wait, solve murders without did, a fucking did the dog, dog did the dog figure out that by uh, um, um, by holding on to the phone longer, he would give Mosa the opportunity to hear an airplane. And that's how they figure out how to, to no, pinpoint I, it. I don't think that's at all what happens. Don't you think that the dog is even smarter than he looks? No. <laughs> I don't think that's what happened at all. Did, I don't want that to be what happened. That would he got it. captured on, on, on purpose. He already knew about it he, when he walked in because he stopped walking into the, uh, uh, into the, well, into the building complex. He sensed trouble. Yeah, so he could have run away, you know. I want to know how he opened the door. Because the house oh, door yeah, the is house do proofed. I mean, he could. Sh he's tall enough to stand up. And oh, there's. He doesn't have a key, no. right? It's not unlocked. Oh yeah, it's stupid. It's it's very stupid. It's very bad. It's <laughs> this episode is really the the worst Commissar Rex episode that we watched so far, in my opinion. The bar it, was set pretty low for. Yeah, and that. Well, I mean, they have a certain char charm to it and, uh. and sometimes have something really ridiculous happening. But in this case, it's just, oh, we have a normal kidnap, kidnap story, but we replaced it with a dog. That's it. That's all there is. There's no, there's no cr really crazy thing going on yeah, here. That's pretty. The dog is not like, uh, in, in one episode, he's f doing fucking parkour for no reason. Yeah? He's doing parkour? Yeah, yeah, it's a great episode. Yeah, it's really stupid and uh, over the top. This one is just mediocre and having this crazy concept with a dog, cop show, and then not pulling through on the craziness makes it really mediocre, in my opinion. Well, I'm pulling ahead on the final conclusion here, but, you know, <laughs> this is... I, I don't give a fuck with this episode. I really, really, really don't care. Because, I mean... See there, there, how there much you also hate it kind of makes me want to start rooting for it. <laughs> so you, your, your hatred for me is... is I don't know. We're going we're gonna to go a few more rounds and then I'll see what direction I'm pulled in. Oh, okay. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> I mean, I mean that the original assassin looked like an ugly version of Sylvester Stallone, yeah. which was kind of funny. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that was that was a a cute visual if I you think like about the it. The whole world looks like an ugly version of Sylvester Stallone, <laughs> including Sylvester Stallone. Really, like when you <laughs> when you picture him, it's just like yeah, and he could be an ugly version of anybody. That's true. Yeah, he could be an ugly version of I don't know George W. Bush Jr. Definitely. No, I'm not sure. About no, that. no. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go to an app, transplant his face, and see what's happening. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna merge those mer face merge sites. I don't want to do that. No, <laughs> too scary. No, just it doesn't need to happen. <laughs> that's information I'm gonna have in my head, and something I need to know is just gonna get pushed out because of it. Yes. So the, the, the Moser figures out that by by listening to the airplane noise in the background of the phone call. Yeah. Um, he figures out that there's like one, one way the plane could have taken by by descent to the airport, and then he figures like a rough area well, where he, where where he's gonna look I for think the he dog. Like rang the airport and asked them, "Hey, what flights were going in or out at nine thirty three? I don't think he was just listening to it and like, "Oh, that sounds like the air in the Danube." Well, okay, I was, yeah, um, yeah. I don't think he was listening. Like actually listening to where the plane sounded, it was like okay. I think he just he was not like Tupolev engine yeah, yeah. two, and <laughs> it it was definitely a Boeing. I could hear it. You know, they they make a certain hissing yeah. noise over the phone. <laughs> no, but yeah. So they, but still, they they kind of fi figure out a rough area where they they ha hold the dog. Yeah, and it's the Vienna countryside, so it's really boring police work of figuring out where where the dog is and they at some point figure out where the dog is 
yeah. who's trying to escape halfway decently. He gives up at a fence, yeah. which is so stupid. With a fence which has a bigger gap bete- between it and the ground than the last building you escaped from. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> well, then there wouldn't have been any plot, Paul. <laughs> huh? There wouldn't have been any plot. There wouldn't have been any suspense. It yes, really yes. Have they the they, they, they didn't, didn't, didn't need it another five minutes yeah. of co- uh, uh, cat and mouse, basically, between the assassin and the dog. Yeah. And then finally we have a... St- very stupid standoff between the 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 the, the assassin Moser and Stockinger Stocky, which ugh, so stupid, so stupid in my opinion. I didn't think it was that stupid. No. Well, I mean, what was stupid about it? No, because what what is he really threatening? He's threatening the dog to to shoot him through a door which? with a single shot rifle. Over like um, at least 20, 15 meters, you Which know. They did not know it. Like he may well have had like the, the they couldn't see where the dog was. Yeah, but from his okay, yeah, from his angle, he would have maybe seen it. Okay, fair enough. But uh, by shooting the dog, he just committed like I don't know. It's not really a crime, but you know, well, it is a crime. Yeah. Uh, it's a misdemeanor or something like that in Austrian I law. feel like it should be stronger than a misdemeanor. To, to it should be. Dog. Yes. I yeah. feel like animal cruelty should have punished, should have been punished way way more severely. I feel like you can't just go around shooting dogs and getting a slap on the wrist for it. Yeah, that can't be true. Oh, you know, it, no, it's a fine in Austria. Oh, okay. It's I think two hundred. Oh, well, then it's fine. Two hundred fifty euros or well, something I pay like 250 that. Two hundred fifty euros to shoot a dog. <laughs> This dog. I'd, you pay mean. Se- I'd pay seven fifty for a go at Commissar Rex, and I get it <laughs> first fucking time as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. You 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 would you would go for a, 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 a like half and half with me on a dog, on this dog. What? Like I I would murder this dog too oh, at okay. this point. You know. This well, is. Well, no, because I'm paying three hundred and. Uh, 75 75 to potentially not shoot a dog oh we can both pull pull the trigger you know no i'm not i don't want to do this with you paul no it's too intimate no it's not it's not that it's just i'm not doing this with you okay (laughs) it's it's not an experience you want to share with me no okay (laughs) dog murder we bonded so much over it man (laughs) and yeah okay so we have that cat yeah and then they arrest the the potential dog murderer they arrest the assassin while he leaves uh, like he's about to board the plane and they arrest him there yeah and that's it basically they 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 get the 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 club owner they get him arrested and that's it basically that's the end of the the whole fucking story oh and then at the end at the end we have we have the, the the i don't know what it is it's it's like a weird Buddy cop. It was ending. just like a typical '90s, like end on a freeze frame, frame thing. Yeah, so exactly. It's, it's just this time it was three men and a dog crouching down to look directly into the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're because they're it's breaking. The 90s they're and breaking. Don't the... have anything better to do, so sit here and watch it, you fucks. Is it like they 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 watched some experimental movie that broke the fourth wall and they're honestly, like, we have to implement this here too? Or... Honestly, if I was a director and I. Someone said, "Hey, if we do this shot, it's technically breaking the fourth wall." I would be like, "We're not coming back. <laughs> like, yeah. There's no way this garbage is gonna get." Oh, because it's the end of season, season one, and yeah. we don't know if we got renewed or something like Fuck that. They like kill the dog. It doesn't <laughs> matter. We're not getting a second one. They should have ended on a cliffhanger if the dog is dead or not. That would have been way smarter to uh, start the second season with yeah. the dog pulling through, like he's in a hospital, like with five EV drips or something like that. You know, Which I'm about to say is really dumb, but actually, not at the pace of this show, I can see it. Yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's the whole plot, man. Let's let's move on to the cinematography. There's not a lot here, in my opinion. I mean, I f- it's because it's this, even the same season as yeah. the last episode we covered. So with sound and cinematography, I was like, I can't really think of anything that I haven't. There was said. a peephole shot, which was kind of cute, where they had the camera oh, yeah. through the peephole. But that and the other thing that uh, I thought cinematography was okay. For yeah, little I know about yes. cinematography. Serviceable. Not not a good enough reason to watch the show, but 
again, they, I mean, they, they had some, they, they, the guy who cut this episode had to work around of around so much bullshit. Like the gun didn't fire he could, at the beginning. Yeah. He couldn't show that. He couldn't show the wound. He couldn't show anything. He had to imply that the guy is dead and everything. Like cutting around that alone. No, that's not that. They come up, they shoot him in like an area of the body where if you get shot, you die. Like, it's not like they had to show him, like, oh, look at his mangled corpse. It's pretty clear what happened. Yeah, but still, though, it was, it was, it was, like, the, again, they, they they made it look believable, even though it had this, this stupid overtone, yeah, basically. Yeah, that's not the editor, like. Huh? That's not the editor, per se. Or, or the director of photography, okay. I guess. Yeah, okay, the DP. The DP did a really good job with this I'm one. I'm not going down that pun with you. And, uh, <laughs> huh, what? I thought you were going to make a DP pun. But. Oh, no, 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 no. no. This, this, this is, this. I I lost any, this is how, 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 how again, it, All right. it, it killed my sense of, of punnery. Which it's, is a shame, because this was a really good episode. I don't see what you're... Uh, <laughs> a dick right now <laughs> no, no. no i i was fairly enthralled of it <laughs> yeah? yeah 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 really yeah yeah you 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 what, what, okay let's let's okay i guess we can move on to sound <laughs> because there's some there's some the they, they had oh happy day well i mean yeah that's you know it adds it's, it's a contrast that's, to the, that's the jesus hat. metaphor it, no it's not a jesus metaphor it just adds a contrast to the uh the, the impending doom that we could all sense with having joyful music randomly. I think it was really well done. Really? I, I was like, when they were doing a little happy day, I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. And then, <laughs> then the guy came in with a tranquilizer. I was and like, then it oh, switches, no, I've switches to my the, comfort zone. This yeah. is, this is startling. This is excellent direction. <laughs> excellent sound engineering oh, too. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Magnificent. Oh, it was so good, guys. You truly believe that you yeah. listen to Oh Happy Day in the streets you could, of Vienna, you, you which could, no one in Vienna has ever said about anything ever. You could you could just listen to this episode as like a like an audio book yeah. basically, right? It, yeah. it it's 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 thoroughly enthralling. It's, learn how to do it. It's no fun if you keep going along with me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> fucking buffoon. <laughs> I just follow your lead, man. I just follow your lead at this point, because yeah. So uh, they they had the, the the that oh happy day. Then that really bothered they, you. They they could have put, brought it back at least at the end. Why? Like because it's a real happy day at the end. Oh, because they're rejoined yeah, it, it and everything. A, it wasn't designed to like actually be happy. It was. <laughs> that's, wasn't it? Are though? you not getting this? It was. It, it was, was supposed to be a contrast with the Oh Happy Day music, which is generally quite a joyful song. Yeah. To the, the whole standoff in the corridor where the dog gets tranked. Ah, oh, fuck that tranquilized time. I mean, the, the, the dog really pulled it off in that episode. He was, like, wincing and, and, and f like, simulating the tranquilizer gun pretty perfectly. But you couldn't see the tranquilizer gun dart on him. No. They could have at least taped, I, it, taped it on his body. I'm sure they didn't body. actually shoot a dog with a tranquilizer gun. No, but they gun. could have taped one on him. As if that would have been the thing to fucking pull this steaming turd of a waste <laughs> of 45 minutes together. If they had a fucking duct taped a tranquilizer gun to the dog. That's what then really, I, that's what really broke it for me. This. That was really what, what broke it for me was the fact that it didn't have that. <laughs> oh man, this movie. Uh, this episode. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, again, it sucked all the fun out of me. It's, it's, yeah. it's, I'm okay with it though. This is a much more dealable version of you. Really? Yeah. <sighs> that makes me even more sad, you know. I. Yeah, you I know. Watch, I know it's fine you for you. You want to watch Commissar Rex again? I think I'm gonna put a hiatus on that for the next <laughs> ten episodes. I think I maybe I'm 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 coming back to for the hundredth episode or something like that to to Commissar Rex. But I'm no, gonna... I, I'm fairly sure the hundredth episode will be me having to watch some horrific Austrian rape porn again. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not that, but something something comparable. Yeah. You know, maybe there's like a uh, 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 Josef Fritzl kind of. Uh, autobiographical movie or something like no, that. No, no, no. no you want 
wanna, don't, no, wanna don't get me wrong, Paul. I'm never excited when I come to your house and, hey, what are we watching today? Porn. Oh, great. <laughs> I wonder how many people are going to get raped in this one. <laughs> okay, how about, how about, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pre, pre-approve something that doesn't have any rape in it. Yeah. How about okay. that? All right. Yeah? Yes. Sounds good? I w- thank you. Yes? I do that for every time I come around. Yeah, like a, that that's one. that's not a stipulation of you yes, showing yeah, up. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, that's that's fair. I I can agree to to, to those terms. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um. No. Except if Reggie is also on, then maybe. Why? No, no, it, I, I want to keep my options open. It, it really reduces the, the, the amount of movies from Austria that we can I'm watch. I'm sure it does. <laughs> what, what, it, what is acceptable about watching rape porn when Reggie's in the room? No, Why not rape porn, him? just rape in general as, as, a, as, a, as a plot point in movies. Is a thing. Yeah, for sure. But why Why does Reggie have to be involved with that? No, because he gets... Uh, the two of you, I think... Uh, watch oh, it, yeah. The dynamic with that is, is quite... I, I, I'm sick of my, and me also, having to suffer because of my good comedic dynamic with Reggie. And constantly getting put in situations where I'm supposed to argue with him. Because something I think is bogus has just happened. See, and everyone's fucking spinning the web. Yeah. I mean, it. See, it's a it's a very good web that you already built, and it's it it just. Yeah, and it's for me and Reggie to exploit. <laughs> I'm Simple just piggy. White man I'm just coming pig- in after yeah. all our hard work. I'm just piggy back- Yeah, I'm piggybacking on on your on your dynamic. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Um. All right. Let. I don't know how we're gonna. Uh, no. Let's let's switch it around. Worst moment. No, I want, I genuinely like the freeze frame at the end of the episode. <laughs> I'm having that for my best moment. No worst moment, me. Okay. Best moment. Oh, I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Secret category. Oh, good. <laughs> just, let's just move on. This deserve, doesn't deserve a long episode. <laughs> I'm going to do my plugs now. <laughs> okay. No. Secret category is Jack's plugs. <laughs> this is coming out in like three weeks. Um, I, uh, January, I, February. What do what you have planned? Man? Um, I'm doing I'm doing Jurek in February 11th. Um, I, I might be doing some shows in Czech, but I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right on plugs. oh yeah links of all your stuff down in the description yep, below yep. yeah please check it out my okay. failed endeavors no come on man you 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 let's let's just quickly because i i need to have a res- format of response to the podcast that you recorded with with reggie which one about about the the the, the roast battle Oh, what did we say? You said about me that it was the worst idea ever to put me in yeah. charge of being a judge. And I wholeheartedly disagree. I Could mean, you I get... you your ass down with a fucking clipboard and yes. then criticize Thomas for not doing the same. It's like, oh, I'm actually going to do... Thomas? Oh, Tom- Thomas. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, well, you know, Tama shouldn't give his opinion from a noteboard, so, like, you know, mine's the official one. No, it was a shtick, man. It was, was it? It was a shtick, really? of course. I, did, I wouldn't bring something like this if it wasn't a shtick, you know? I don't know it was I... an, a hugely oversized notepad, you know? It was ridiculous. I wanted to do the whole graph shit and all that as a shtick. I was, like, the... The yeah, stickler but, Austrian. That was my character. It's not n- who I normally am. No, but that's the thing. It was very much normally who you are. Because <laughs> you said things as you. You just had a clipboard on you. Oh, man. I'm like, more to the point, you get mad when you... <laughs> like, I thought you came... I voted just, for you, motherfucker. You came, yeah, but I definitely won. <laughs> There's no way you could have... See, been. Reggie has a different opinion on that. Yeah, Reggie had, like, his opinion... 
uh, got increasingly different as time has passed. He's he's being a real sore loser about this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he is real bitter about it. It's like, it's so I, much I fun. I rewatched your footage. You know, actually, it wasn't really that good. It was just bitter, 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 bitter. <laughs> Sorely, uh, um, I will be posting, or there will already be the Rose Bowl posted to my website as well. It's gonna be also, it's already on. Uh, it's, all, it's on the all airs on us Facebook page, like a YouTube, YouTube page. page yeah. Yes, check it out, guys. It is amazing. Link in the description below. Yeah, no, that. So, just in my opinion, you know, I, I thought I was, I was, I, I was doing a good job. <laughs> You are, you I was I was doing not as good of a job as Tamash, but that's fair. Tamash <laughs> is better than me. I get that, but I didn't do a horrible job. You never said you did a horrible job. No, Reggie said it was the worst idea ever to have me on. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you did a horrible job. It was just... no. Wait, no, that's that's not how worst ideas work. <laughs> no, I'm 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 putting my foot down here. You know, right. this is this is not okay. You can't say it is the worst idea and then go around and say, oh, it was okay to have him on. You know, this is no, this, not, this is not how it, it works. I never said it was okay to have you on. I'm just saying. Wait, that. you didn't want me on. No, I did. Uh, I did <laughs> want you on. I was the one who suggested your name. Yeah, thank you for that, by <laughs> no, the way. Don't thank me. <laughs> <laughs> there was no collusion going on, by the way. No, but the, right. So it's just yeah, you were okay. So you did a character, but no one realized that because you were just being very much your usual Austrian self. I mean, Luke played off of it and it worked, and Tamash worked off of it and it worked. They didn't work off of it. They just noted that you had a clipboard. Yeah. Again, it was. <laughs> God damn it! And you got mad at Luke because he didn't. Like announce you by that your was... full name when you were coming on stage as a character act anyway. Yeah, but <sighs> I, I, Paul, I'm, 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 I'm over there. that. I'm over that. I'm over that. <laughs> okay. I'm over that. I'm uh, glad you were there, Paul. Yeah, me too. It was it was great. Yeah. Uh, Reggie is so sore because he lost. Oh, so sore. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Uh, Final conclusion. It was a bad episode. Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing this podcast again. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> you fucking think so? Hell yeah. Why? Because, because... What what leverage do you have over me, Paul? I don't have any leverage. I well, just know... you can't be demanding... Oh, no, yes, I'm not, will. I'm not demanding. I'm just prophesizing. Prophes yeah, but with a lot of confidence. You're not musing. You're like, no, this, is, this will happen. It, it happened like, so oh, yeah, far. Yeah, it happened so far. I mean... It's not like this took you so far over the edge, or did it? Was it was it such a horrifying it, experience? It wasn't the worst thing we've ever watched. <laughs> that's your final conclusion. Yeah. That's I'm your rating. Out. That's your rating of the episode. That, yeah. It wasn't it. the ho most hor horrifying thing we ever watched. On a scale of one to ten, it could have been worse. <laughs> so, more than one. It's a two. At least. At least a two. All right. Um, yeah, guys, uh, I uh, guess... This was a really short episode. Yeah, it was. It's good. Yeah. It's good that way, I think. Should we talk more about it? I feel like we're robbing your listeners. Of what? Mm. More more check and Paul time? Yes. Okay, so that yeah. Class no, I'm, I'm joking. Let's end this. <laughs> I, I am entirely through with talking to you. <laughs> All right, with this... Right, note go open the door before you end the podcast so I can leave immediately. With this note of hatred, we end this fantastic episode of FFP. Thank you for being here, no Jack. It, it it was a delight to have you on, as always. I'm sure it was. Um, yeah, it was. That, that's, yes. You sound sarcastic, asshole. I'm British. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just the natural twang of yeah, your voice. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry I was so low energy today. I still feel like shit, so I couldn't... Oh, yeah, you're sick, right. Yeah, yeah. thanks for being down. No problem. And and getting down with me, um, guys. Monica was telling me to cancel the podcast. I was like, no, because Paul needs me. And that's I am true. Coming. I do need you, yes. man. I do need you. That you are one of the rocks I hold on. I am the alpha comic after all. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm I'm the omega to your alpha. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But just end the episode. I'm sick of this. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> You don't want to say goodbye? Uh, are we supposed to like fold our notes now like newscasters and then as it just pans out? Doo -doo 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 -doo.